Peachtober 2022. Completed it, mate. I'm talking to the camera, it's okay. Hello and welcome. Welcome to my breakdown of Peachtober 2022. This is my first time pe uh, taking part. I learnt so much and I wanted to share the thought process and the behind the scenes and all the things to making Peachtober. So I'm going to start off uh, by very briefly going through each painting whilst the the reel that I posted plays and then I'll tell you about what I learned because I learned so much. So for the first piece uh, the prompt was cave. Rather than doing an actual cave I wanted to try something different so I made a like cozy cave type thing. I immediately realised that I needed to use different paper but one of the rules that I set myself for this challenge was that I wouldn't redo any of the paintings and I stuck to that apart from one because it came out so bad I was like I just cannot physically post this. So for this one uh, I just drew a little cat in a nice cozy cave. I tried to keep the background very blue and then the foreground like warm colours. I was guessing at this point. So here is the finished thing. Um, the paper is extremely cool because it is uh, handmade and from recycled stuff, 100% recycled. But the problem I ran into was that it was too small for the detail that I needed and also too textured for the paint that I was using and I hadn't figured out how I like the gouache yet. The second piece was bunny or but yeah bunny was it but uh, no it was dandelion i drew a bunny but the prompt was dandelion because i am so creative so i did a field of dandelions with a bunny eating a dandelion wow who who would have guessed ironically we've just adopted a little bunny rabbit who is a little demon spawn but more on that in another video so for this one i was still playing with ch textures and stuff and figuring out what i wanted to do but i didn't know anything else i was just kind of like there's a reference of a bunny let's paint it the third prompt was cowboy so i did a cowboy frog obviously uh i really liked how this came out i do wish that there was a bit more going on in the foreground but i do also like that it's just very focused on the frog i really like really really like the hot pink luminous pinky type situation yeah i was pretty happy with this one the fourth prompt was tiger this one i don't like i don't like this painting um i had a certain idea on my head and i pretty much just didn't stick to it i did want to create a painting of a tiger on a on a piece of land because uh there are tigers in the indonesian islands um they used to take like they used to inhabit all of the islands but now there's just pretty much one island with uh these sombra tigers on them and yeah i just wanted to be like hey man that's not cool maybe donate or think about stuff because climate change and that. <laughs> I mean, I wrote a post underneath it so you can check it out on Instagram. The next prompt was bow. Uh, I did the bow of a boat because I didn't want to just draw flowers wrapped in a bow and that's pretty much all I could think of for the other type of bow. And then I saw everyone else's ideas and I was like, you are stupid because you could have done anything. But anyway, this one was fine. I really like the colors, um, but obviously I needed to include the bow of the boat, but then I don't, that's the part that I don't like. Also the dolphin's a bit weird, but anyway. The next prompt was trees, and uh, this is based on a tree that sits right in my view right now, I can see it. Uh, when I sit at my desk and I face the window, I see this tree and I see so much life and stuff going on around it, and it's a very cool tree, and so many animals take place, uh, take, what's the word I'm looking for. They hide there basically. I just wanted to basically paint that tree. I could have done better, I know where I need to improve, but I also enjoyed using a lot of green. I love green. The next prompt was potion. This one was super gnarly. I had this idea and I was so happy about it, but this is also my first time using um, uh, painting a person and I have been staying away from painting people because I have this idea of what I want my people to look like in my drawings and paintings. During, before this challenge, I hadn't had the chance to really sketchbook people as much. Since then, I've kind of gotten a little bit more confident, but I still need to work on it. Um, I'm still doing a lot of learning about the type of style. So I had to use a lot of references and um, like guides and stuff on Pinterest and that. But the idea was that uh, we created a uh, witch delivery service and she was delivering potions to her people. The next prompt was mask and I was real stuck on this. Originally I had a nice idea of drawing tiger or a lion 
with a mouse that was wearing a mask of the tiger or the lion and then the tiger or the lion was like you're totally chill man you can pass i didn't do that instead i drew a ghost that was trick-or-treating and he had a mask on and it's like is it a kid who's got a ghost outfit on and is also wearing a mask or is it a ghost pretending to be a kid who's wearing a mask so he can go trick-or-treating because he wants to take part I also really liked drawing these cats. The next prompt, oh my God, this is one of my favorite, I'm just gonna show you right now. This is one of my favorite uh, ones that I did. This prompt was Boulder, Lola, go and lay down. This uh, painting is actually one of my favorites that I've done. Um, I usually try and stick to warmer colors when it comes to my paintings. I don't know why I just tend to prefer them, but this was the first time that I was drawing the sky with uh, yellow stars and I really liked how it turned out. The prompt was obviously boulder, so I decided that asteroids were basically floating boulders. And this is probably one of the ones that I had in my head and it come out, it turned out pretty much the same. The next prompt was lantern. Following on from painting a blue sky with stars on it, I really liked doing that. So I thought, huh, let's continue that. And I drew fish lanterns because uh, I saw a photo on Pinterest and I was like mm, that's super cool so I drew them and yeah the next prompt was field and this is the one prompt that I redid the first time I did it I really 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 hated it so yeah <laughs> this is the second time this is the second painting for that after the first failure I just decided let's just keep it simple the whole thing is going to be the field there's going to be no like sky or horizon line or background and then there's a little doggy looking at a little ladybug and it is very cute the next prompt was lava I wanted to do a lava lamp but I didn't want to just like draw a lava lamp and then that was the painting so so i did the lava as the surrounding thing and then like a little flower inside the actual lava lamp i don't really know it's whatever the next prompt was tail when if i look out of my window at the front of the house in a certain at a certain time i see tons of foxes and it's really cool i love to watch them and they absolutely cause chaos they they are menaces and they love to get in the bins so i painted a fox in a bin with a house um, I tried, this was my first time doing like a nighttime painting where I was trying to be a bit more realistic so that's why there's like a whole blue wash over the whole thing but I don't like how it turned out. The next prompt was town. Uh, this is actually a bigger version or a repaint of something I did in a mini sketchbook that I took away with me uh, over the summer. I saw a photo of a mushroom car and it's, but it looked like someone had put paper mache on a car but they, I don't know what they'd done. I took inspiration from that and put, made it so it was in a town and my friend said that it looked like a uh, animal crossing map which i was like hell yeah the next prompt was shell and even though it was kind of the obvious route i really wanted to draw a snail this is actually also one of my favorite ones i love that the snail is really big but then the flowers are really big and there's a frog sitting on it and all the sizes are wrong but it still looks cute and the frog is reading a book and he's sitting on the snail and they're off and they're being friends and it's just a cute time and I had a lot of fun painting this and figuring out the background colors versus the green and the leaves and it was a good time. The next prompt was trunk. Um, originally I was gonna draw elephants with their trunks touching and it like kind of made a heart shape. Didn't wanna use a lot of gray though because I'm, I mean, that would have been a lot of gray unless I made them a funky color but. So um, instead I drew a cat sitting on a tree trunk. Do I love it? No but it's fine. The next prompt was snow. So for this one, I originally, I just started off by drawing uh, the bottom of the tree with a fairy door. That was my initial idea. Like there's a little fairy door, there's a door in a tree. It's for the fairies. They're gonna go in there and it's gonna be cute. And then I added details like the snowman in the background and the squirrel and it's all very cute. And then as I was drawing a little puddle of snow, my Posca pen exploded wonderfully. So I just started throwing my Posca pen at the page and, um, it turned out okay. This is also one of my favorites and a completely different style to the rest of them, but I love it. The prompt was wing and I drew a grumpy cat wearing an angel costume. I see people putting their cats in costumes and hats and stuff all the time. My cat would just not let me do that. It just wouldn't be, she would destroy my hat. I would have no skin left on my hands before I managed to get it on her. So that's why it's a grumpy cat and it's also black because I have a black cat. The next painting is boot. This is another one, or the prompt was boot. This is another one that I don't like that much. Um, my friend does so I might just give it to her and I just drew some flowers in a boot because I was in a rush by this point. Ironically I started painting these in like September so this was like a two-month project for me because um, for those of you who don't know me I have a chronic illness 
and I wanted to have as much room as possible so that I could uh, paint as and when and yet I still managed to paint the, to be late for the last prompt but anyway we're not talking about that next prompt was spaceship I really like the concept of this but if I and I think I will repaint it because I really want to so the idea is that it's a tree house and it's got a little telescope on it and there's a spaceship in the background but because the prompt was spaceship I wish that the spaceship was slightly bigger and I also wish that there was more greenery throughout I wish that rather than the tree trunk like the bark <laughs> taking up so much of the painting that it was mostly tree and sky like leaves and sky with a spaceship in the background and like the um, tree house being a lot smaller in the painting so I might try and uh, redo that and make it better because it's a cool idea but yeah I just wasn't paying attention to what I wanted <laughs> The next prompt is globe and for this one I drew a snow globe. Had a grand time doing it. I had to repaint the background a couple of times just to make it so that it was obvious that you were looking through the glass and that the pink in the background of the snow globe was paler. I don't like drawing buildings. I don't think I'm very good at drawing or painting straight lines. I think I should stick to natural things and practice that a bit more. The next prompt is bun and I drew a bunny because I didn't want to draw a hair bun or a bun or any bun so I drew a bunny and it is uh, a tiny bunny in a huge world or is it a huge world wait no is a tiny bunny in a real world or is it a huge world with a normal sized bunny in it those are the questions that we should be answering. If that is the reason, then that worm is absolutely huge. I have been watching uh, Kiko and the Age of the Wonder Beasts, and I took a lot of inspiration. There's a scene or like a shot, I'll try and find a screenshot of it, where um, there's absolutely huge flowers, and flipping loved that. The next prompt was Sprout, and I, the idea for this is that giant flowers, again, for, I was really on that, that vibe, giant flowers have sprouted everywhere and these cats are just like, oh my god, and there's one cat that's just like vibing, absolutely happy. One cat has been yeeted up into the air and is like, oh my god, and then there's one that's just like upside down almost, it's just like, um, okay then. And that was that one. <laughs> um, I really like this one, this is one of my favourites, I like the colours, I took a long time practicing the different forms of the cats they're not perfect but you know it's whatever and i love daisies so much so there we go the next prompt is castle i realized very quickly that i didn't like drawing buildings and therefore painting a castle was going to be difficult instead i drew some comfort zone things and that was some swirly weird blobby trees and a bear sitting in its castle which happens to be its cave so was this really the answer to the first prompt probably but it was cute the next prompt was robot. I had a slightly more complicated idea for this at first. I was going to have some sort of portal situation because the idea is that the robot has taken this kid somewhere at night and is like, oh my god, that's why they're both like, that's why he's in pajamas. But I didn't do the portal because I was like, again, I'm, I'm going to need some practice. If I do the portal, it's going to be bad. So instead we have this and um, it's fine. I like it. I like the character. I had that little that little dude character in my head and I drew the little robot like I made him up. I didn't see a photo of that robot anywhere. So I was happy about that. Could use some more world building, you know what I mean? Uh, okay, this prompt is two prompts in one and it was land and sea. And I originally was gonna do two separate paintings of a balloon flying away and one of it is gonna be over land and then it was gonna be over the sea and it's gonna be like, oh my God, it's flying away so far. But I didn't have time. So instead I did this and I don't like it. I think it would be better as digital art and also as like a sticker design one day, that would be really cute. Um, but the idea is that there's a land animal and a sea animal. Cow is wearing a octopus plushy hat type thing kind of like this look my mum got me this her no, her friend's daughter made it it's one of my favorite things that I own and then I included the octopus arms in front and it just gets a bit confusing so it's like but the reason I did that is because I had accidentally drawn the head of the cow too far up the paper so I needed something at the bottom and I, I, it was bad anyway the next prompt was plant and I showed my brother this as I showed him every painting that I was doing because he knows about art stuff and he's good at telling me like maybe add a little bit more shading there I told him yeah the prompt was plant and he was like so you drew a skull and I was like yes I wanted to draw a skull with things coming out of it and then I added the two teeny tiny cats and once again we asked the question 
Are they tiny cats or is it just a really fat skull, like a really big skull? Um, I really like the colours. I usually, like I said before, go for warmer colours, but this added a lot more contrast and because of the skull, I wanted it to be like a little bit darker and I think it worked. And I like the fact that there's some eyes in there. The next prompt was Whale. I basically drew a uh, Fairy Little Peach, Charm, because she recently painted a whale for, I forget the name of the thing that does it. She had a giant whale tail to paint um, and she did this really cool thing where she like spray painted the bottom of it and then painted over it in black and like did these little star cutout things and I really liked that. So I thought I would pay hom homage to her and do that and then also made it the whale and then the idea is that she is the person that is sitting on top of it. I'm not sure about it but I worked really hard on getting the pose right and then I kind of ruined it because I made her wear a dress because she always wears blue dresses, she loves wearing blue and then I was like well now the pose is less obvious but moving on. The last two prompts were sleepy and pet. Uh, so I wanted to take inspiration from my cat who is a black cat and a black tabby and she is a very sleepy cat just like most cats. I wanted to kind of paint like a fantasy city. Um, it's kind of the idea is that it's a sleepy overgrown city that's why there's a giant tree there. Um, initially there wasn't as much greenery but I learned from my previous painting with a tree house that I needed more greenery so I added more. <laughs> Definitely have a lot to learn with lighting and shading and etc um, to do with these things but I think the general vibe is there and I think you can figure out what it is. One thing I did learn is that uh, my tape, I need to get better tape because it would stick to the pages and nearly ruin the whole thing. So those are all of the paint, the uh, prompts and the paintings I did. Um, I'd made a note of some things that I learned that I just wanted to briefly talk about, extremely briefly, so that my dog can not be quiet because she loves being loud. So some quick things that I learned. Um, first of all, I'm really glad that I took part in this challenge. I learned a lot extremely quickly. Um, and I think you can see that from the first painting then to the last one. So uh, there was clearly a big difference. The first thing I learned is what paper I like. Clearly, you, I tried one thing and immediately was like, uh-uh. Uh, the second thing I learned was the consistency of gouache that I like best which is usually like, you know, the gouache that everyone says that you should use, but I haven't figured that out yet. And then also um, ty different types of consistencies for different things. Third thing is that I need to take better photos of the finished pieces. So to do with this, I didn't want to have to have another job to do. So I was pretty much just filming on my phone as I was doing it. And then I'd take the photo on my phone. I know there's better ways to take photos on my phone. Most of the time I was just taking the photo right after having finished it and sometimes it was late at night so I didn't necessarily have the best lighting or I couldn't go outside and make it look pretty or anything. So because of that some of the photos aren't that great and also it's important to have your painting show up as big on the screen as possible on Instagram so that people are actually like hmm what is that? Um, so learning I just learned a lot about that and uh, also like I said I wasn't necessarily even as I was doing the challenge, I knew that I needed to improve my photo taking, but I didn't want to make any more effort than I already was. And the last thing was how I like to film reels. I thought that reels were such a huge um, deal, like to film, like I thought it was gonna be really frustrating to film. I actually invested in a tripod that attaches to my desk and then sort of hangs over my desk and I can put my phone in it. So I can just literally press record for a bit be painting as usual. For the most part filming reels became a lot easier once I realised oh I can just do a basic thing if I really want to just to get this done. Not as daunted by making reels um, because it's just easier. <laughs> so that was my Peachtober. I hope you enjoyed and if you followed along on Instagram big appreciation. I'm looking forward to doing it next year. I learned a lot in a short amount of time even just like colors i like combinations different ways of doing things uh, having a normal set process for painting it was a huge help for me to come up with my own ideas because before then i was pretty much just painting uh things like getting a reference photo and painting the reference photo whereas now i feel like i can come up with concepts so yeah thank you for watching i will see you soon i have a video coming out soon about gouache when i first got my gouache set and so this video can sort of be a, this is how I use the gouache. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed and goodbye. <laughs>